Hello crafty friend, are you ready to make some autumn inspired earrings? So let's get crafting. So here's everything I'm going to be using and these are the little charms, crochet appliques that I want to incorporate into this autonomous earrings and I'm going to be making two pairs and if you want to learn how to make these little appliques I have the tutorial already on YouTube so I'm going to be leaving in the description and also in the comments so feel free to check it out. And then to put the earrings together you will need jump rings and earring hooks and then lastly I'm going to be using a flat nose and a round nose plier just so that we can open the jump rings and put the earrings together. So that's everything I'm going to be using so now let's begin. So I'm going to show you how to put together the pumpkin one first. So I'm going to be using these two appliques, a hook and six jump rings. So first I'm going to be opening a jump ring and then I'm going to be inserting this jump ring into the hook, the bottom of the hook, and then I'm going to be closing it. So here's the first little ring and now I'm going to be adding two more going down. So here's two and now I'm going to be adding another one into the last one. And I'm going to now add a fourth one including the leaf. So open. So make sure the leaf is on the right side. Find a stitch right at the top. Insert your jump ring into that little stitch. So when putting the appliques together you want to make sure that you do everything towards the front so I'm just going to be holding it like this because this is the front of my hook right here and then I'm going to hold the leaf with the right side facing me and then I'm just going to insert it like this into the last jump ring so you can see that everything is facing the front of my earring so now I'm going to close it so this is how you want it to look like, everything facing towards the front. So now attaching the pumpkin. So now the next jump ring and open it. You always want to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. So here's the front of everything. I'm going to be placing it into the second jump ring, as you can see, and towards the front of my earrings. Now I'm going to close it. Now the last jump ring, I'm going to open it. I'm going to be adding the pumpkin. So right into the stem, just find a little stitch and then add the jump ring. So now I'm going to be adding the pumpkin into the previous ring that we've added. You can see that I'm holding everything nice and towards the front and the previous ring is right here, facing the front as well. I'm going to be adding it right there. So now I'm going to be closing this jump ring. So here's the pumpkin earring completed. And you can also just play around with it with the little jump rings and do different ways as well. You can just, for example, add four and then add both appliques into just the last one here. So you can do that as well. I wanted to put them separately because I think it looks so fun like this but yeah you can just play around and be creative with it all right so yeah here's the first one completed and now repeat the same steps and make the second one look at it also i made the leaves in a different color for each of the earrings but you can also have them the same it's going to be completely up to you i just love color so i wanted to make them different so now i'm going to show you how to put together the acorn one in which is the same way I did them exactly the same but this one it's with the acorn and this leaf right here so you will see a little footage of me putting it together I'm not going to be explaining the whole process again you can just rewatch it how I did the pumpkin one so I'm going to be using again six jump rings and the hook and then the two little appliques <laughs>
now here's the acorn one now completed and once you make one you can go ahead and make the second look at this one with the yellow leaf i love it <laughs> i think this is the best autumn project i have ever made let's try them on together so i'm going to be starting with the pumpkin ones everything out of the way because today the focus are the earrings right <laughs> my goodness look at it you have to stop everything you are making and make these this is just the cutest thing so autonomous i can't i love it love 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 it so the idea that i had was to basically mix and match them so i'm going to try one of the acorn with one of these and then try with this one because then we have the same color leaf how cute is this this is more me than different i love it love 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 it so now i'm going to try the other two because the other two are way colorful than this one so yeah yes now this is it this is exactly what i wanted super colorful and all of them different all of the appliques different but i'm so happy that i did matching as well because then i can wear it with different autumn outfits i'm going to now try the other acorn on this one this is so adorable Which one are you going to be making? The acorn one or the pumpkin one? Let me know in the comments. And which one is your favorite? I don't have a favorite. I love all of them. I cannot choose. I cannot. <laughs> so this is how you make autumn inspired earrings. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you end up making any of them or all of them, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Abrunaticality, so I can see your take on it. And if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up as you always do. And also don't forget to subscribe here to the channel so you can see more of my autumn crafting journey because I do have a lot more to share with you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> so this is... They are gone. They are gone. Gone again. <laughs>